Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. We are on day three of our Quilty Ornaments Sew Along. If you're new to the sew along, I've got a 12 piece classic quilty ornaments pattern that I just released this year and we are doing a sew along. So we're sewing one ornament every other day. Gives you plenty of time to get your ornament done and we will be done in plenty of time to decorate for Christmas. So if you haven't already, make sure to grab your pattern. You can do that on my website. I will link it below um, and they come in PDF or paper format. My mom is working hard to ship every single day. So if you order a paper print, you should have it in just a few days and you can get caught up with us and join in on the sew along. You only need a few supplies. You basically need three fat quarters for your front. I use two different reds, one white, and then just another random fat quarter for the back. You can also use your scraps fabric and not even worry about having fat quarters available. So super easy and fun. And then of course you need a little bit of batting um, because I like to give my ornaments a little bit of squish um, and then some ribbon to hang them with. So um, all that information is included in the pattern. I also have a finishing video for them here here on YouTube. Um, I'm not gonna be saying that every day, so just for these first few days, I just wanna let everybody know where they can get everything, um, but all of that information is available on that YouTube video as well. Let's take a quick look at yesterday's ornament. So ornament for day two was this cute little churn dash, and here was its backing. And these fabrics I used were um, some fabrics that I actually had in my stash. They are Moda fabrics. Um, the snowflake print was Stacy Itsu, I believe. I think it's Holiday Essentials. Um, and the other one was a plaid that I had in my stash. So um, I'm not sure what it is, so sorry about that. All right, here is the ornament for day three. And it's this cute Ohio star. And then Ohio stars are so fun because you can really kind of change them up just based on your fabric placement. Of course, I just did these red tips here and then I did red in the center. You could also make this center the white or your background color and then do these little guys in a different red or a green or whatever color you like and that kind of changes the look of the block. The other fun thing that I think to do with any of these blocks would be to swap the background and the front fabric. So if for example my background is white and my star is red, just invert those so the star part is white and the background is red or whatever color you choose. It makes it look completely different um, but essentially it's the same block pattern. So that's one of the cool things about quilting and if you haven't done that in any of your other quilts, a lot of times we see quilts made and we make them the exact same way the pattern is but just by swapping out your fabrics can totally change the look of the quilt and come up with something completely unique that's all you um, or your recipient. It just fits you so much better than the original quilt pattern. So have fun with those quilt patterns and with these little ornament patterns. They don't all have to look exactly like mine. Um, of course, it's okay if they do as well because they're adorable. And I, of course, went with the red and white theme. I've already seen some people popping up um, images with some people did red and green instead of two reds, which were adorable. And when I first made these, they actually, I had actually designed them as red and green. And then I thought, you know, I think I want to do something a little more um, just red and white because I was just feeling that vibe. So I went with the two different reds. But what a great idea. I think another cool one would be different blues. Um, so it kind of have more of a wintry vibe to them. So you could do two different blues with like a white background. Um, black and white would also be really cool. So some of the prints, it is nice to have two different prints um, just so they kind of stand out from each other a little bit. You'll see as we get in, there's one star that has two prints right next to each other. I think it would be fine if they all matched, but it's it's kind of nice to have the two different variants. So here's ornament three, very cute. And um, I think I mentioned this already, but give yourself a little grace on these. They're tiny pieces. If you cut off a point here or there, I mean, it's just an ornament on your tree. So nobody's really gonna care. So just have fun with them. Make sure to share them on social media so that I can see. And that's gonna be it for today's video. I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we'll look at ornament number four.